All right, let's meter for continuity. Call that good, maybe. The meter is working. This is the good Peltier Junction, and its wires are these. And we'll see if there is any continuity, or what the continuity is, I should say, because this should have 0.07. Okay. This one. One point nine. Sounds to me eighteen. Yeah, that, that was one point nine. Well, if we turn it one more. So 1885, and this one is reading 25, 24. So it looks like this Peltier Junction is probably pooched. You know, if you look, the fins are bent on this thing. I did not do that. That is from the factory. This one's in good shape. But there's no way I could have bent those fins. So that's just absolutely brilliant. Anyway, uh, we'll hook the meter back up. DC. Hook it to the power supply once again. And I think I'm just going to go for broke and power just the Peltier Junction and see what we read. See if the voltage changes any or, or much or at all. So let's see. Everything is shorting, so that's good. And we'll get some power. Probably can't see that. 4 watts, 3.9, close enough. 10 point, see now it's reading 10.6 volts. Unloaded, but it was reading better before. Okay. 10.8, it's, it's dead. There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing there. No change in wattage. Not a damn. Nothing. The fan will run. Wow, I didn't even know that that crapped out. That's awesome. There's the fan. Let me get a better connection. The fan runs! It, ooh, the fan! Okay. The fan runs, but the Peltier Junction is dead. That is pretty impressive. The fan is different from the first. So we can definitely remove that from there. Let's see what else we got here. I don't know how this disconnects and I'm not interested in it because the rest of it is just a chunk of aluminum that's garbage. And we could take this fan out. Oh my god, Jay, it's still powered. You're going to get a shock. Yeah, 11 volts DC. Really, really scared. So take out the screws. There's the fan and a dead Peltier Junction. Same company. I can't read the name on it. 
but it's exactly the same company here. We're looking at an 80, oops, oh no. Oh no, my finger got chopped off. We're looking at an 80, should be about an 80, and a 92 millimeter, I think. Or maybe this is a 70. Yeah, this might be a 70 and an 80. And if I look, that's a rough, rough, rough. Is that a centimeter? Maybe. Yeah, I'll have to see. Anyways, that fan is good. And uh, let me change the battery on the camera. And we'll power up the Peltier Junction. Well, that was an extended break that I didn't expect. The phone rang. You might guess who it might have been. So that was 45 minutes. But it was a fun story. And indeed, XJO81X will have a video on the subject. Probably posted already by the time this goes up. So uh, we were done testing this fan. And we were going to go on to the other Peltier Junction. Before we do that, let's power up more fans. So we'll get our power back on. Where are you? There we go. 10.2345. Coming up. 10.6. Slowly, but it's going. And now we can power up this fan. And you can watch the blades go around. Ooh. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh. They're quiet. I'll give them that. So that's that one. And this one, we can power in the same fashion, just to do it, because twerps. Get the wire in there. There we go. It's powered. It's running. And if you put it this way, mount it up top, it's a ceiling fan! <laughs> Okay, that's a lot of fun. So there was that. Now, we'll get on to the good stuff. So, let's see. Black and black. I'm going to run the Peltier Junction with the fan because you shouldn't run it without it, really. And this is the only one I have left that works, so, you know, why not? So we'll do that and put that in there and hook up power. We are at 11.0102 down to 9.45 and the temp gun, I had one, I don't know where it is now, here right in front of me. Seventy six point eight. Turning around without shorting, maybe. It's cooling. So far, not much temperature differential. Seventy two. It's getting cold. Of course, if I had more chooch to, to feed this thing, it would go, you know, work better. But indeed, it is getting cold. So, proof of concept is there. This is getting warm. It says 70. 83. So, absolutely, is working. And that's all nice and good. 
And if we, just for fun, disconnect the fan, just to, you know, just for a minute. Nine point six. Yep, nine point six six. Definitely cold on that side and hot on this side. It probably it's it's yeah, it's actually moving. It is definitely moving. Eighty-eight, eighty-nine, sixty-six. 65 definitely getting cold definitely getting hot the power supply fan is exceptionally quiet 90 65 we'll give it another little bit of course my doing that is heating it up but Got a musical instrument. Cut those off, hang them up, and make a wind chime out of it. <laughs> 90, well, it went down. 92, there we go, 93, 65. So that's about where we're sitting. And if we add the fan to the mix, if I can just squeeze that in. Oh, I definitely feel warm air come out of that. Oh, yeah. Let that chooch for just a moment longer, and I just want to see if we get down below like 65 ish. Mm, still 65. Coming on to 64. So yeah, it definitely works. And there's a Peltier Junction I don't need. Okay, that's all fine and good. Let's disconnect power. And we'll unhook this. And let's see, just for fun, if we can power up the LEDs. I'm not going <clears> to <throat> take the top one out now. We'll take this apart before this video closes out. These wires, I think, need to be stripped, yes. And I have to remember to switch over to 5 volts. I don't know if that's the correct voltage for them, but it ain't 12. That much I know. So we'll strip these quick. Twist the wires. Power supply is disconnected from the mains, but I'm going to move the red wire over to the red wire, which is 5 volts, and hook this up. Uh, I'm going to blip it, so we'll hook up just that, and then apply power. Come on, there you go. Okay, supplies up. Yes, you can see. Yeah, 5 volts. I don't know if you can read the meter. Let me see if I could do this, because it, it definitely is load dependent. 11 volts goes up to 11... Point four when there's you know a decent load on it the LEDs are absolutely nothing to write home about whatsoever so that's all nice and good all right so we're done with all the junk here and I'm gonna take the screwdriver now and take apart this shelf thing and I'm pretty sure it's basically a plastic box but just to look, 
maybe there's insulation between it because supposedly you could change the when this was in its prime you could change the uh, temperature of the upper and lower compartments and that was all fine and dandy so you'd imagine there might be a sheet of styrofoam or foam board or something in here possibly it definitely looks like it through these slots but let's just open it anyway because hey that styrofoam might not be a bad thing to keep depending on what kind it is so we have a bunch more screws still that's great oh and there's two screws on the lens and we're just going to pull the board out with the leds and that's all I'm going to keep because it, it's not going to, it, it mounts to the plastic, the little lens on it, which is useless. So, well, actually the board might mount to that. Not that it's going to be very useful, but hey, you know, even so you can do some desktop modification and add these little lights to it running off the 5 volts of the power supply. Oh, that screws out already. Oh, it's just plain old styrofoam. Look at how terrible. Oh, man. Ah, just, I mean, the absolute cheapest materials you could imagine is what ran this thing. Just horrible. 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 I've never seen fans with that brand before. I'm sure I never will again. <laughs> I can't, just the, and what did they get, like 250 bucks for this damn thing when it was new? This is abysmal construction. Absolutely abysmal. And if we pull that, theoretically the board should be free. These clips. There it is. And the wires with the connector will fit, will not fit. We can unplug it and take that out. That's garbage. That I don't think is useful anymore. And the LED board couple of resistors and some LEDs and this I can hang on to to never be used for anything else ever again just because it still works and that's exactly what I'm going to do with the other one this has no that's garbage so these screws are useless put those in our little Thing, along with all of these that we don't need either that's garbage and uh, that's it so we got some ground wires a couple of fans four fans and a peltier junction and that is the story of the wine fridge and why you do not ever ever want to buy one of these stupid wine fridges because they're garbage. Now, Doo Doo gave me this thing, and I didn't want it to start with, but it was nice. It was nice in the sense of, wow, cool wine fridge. It's brand new. It works. Put some wine in it and be promptly disappointed with the performance of it and then the high cost of maintenance now we were running at 46 watts did we say constant that was always on i think the back fans would have turned on and off what are we talking a watt or two Re really nothing so basically it's a bunch of complete garbage obviously the power boards were total crap because all of them failed even with the replacements they failed just total garbage through and through and through. 
made out of the absolute cheapest components they could possibly get their hands on. And then you plug that in and leave that on while you're sleeping. I did it. So what do you do? Well, I have a solution. And that is going to be in the next part of this video. So thanks for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. I have to clear the carcass out of here and all that. And make some room so I can show you the replacement. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.